Damn. Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. Okay, I was going riding this morning with my um, buddies. You see, I got my gear on, put everything on, and then I got the phone call that, hey, it's snowing outside. No, nah, it can't be. The weatherman didn't say it's supposed to snow. But lo and behold, it is snowing. And also, it's cold out here. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good riding 38 or above. But as you can see, I, I put it somewhere. Um, anyway, it's about 32 out here. And that's not only the snow, that's too cold for me. Um, you see, this is the snow bank still behind me. You remember when I did the shaving it back? So you can see it's still, it's still here. <laughs> Nah, it's, it's going to be a while before that melts. So anyway, um, instead of going for a ride, I guess I'll um, put my bike. I actually had taken my bike off the train and put it on my car. Hey, I was when my buddy called. I had put it on my car. It wasn't actually snowing here yet. It was going. It was snowing because it's close to where he lives. But anyway, um, I didn't go. Now, there's one thing I have a little, little routine I do when I ride with my buddies on Saturday. I usually carb up. And since I've kind of gotten back on my eating health and my low carb uh, kick, I was looking for forward to getting some carbs this morning. So what I did, I still went and got some carbs. Uh, I went to Chick Fil A, <laughs> hey, loaded up with a chicken, a chicken egg and cheese sandwich, and some hash browns. Now I got to go ride it off on my trainer. All right, on to the next step. Okay, I'm down here on the trainer. Yeah, my ride this morning got, I guess, canceled by the weather. But at least I have an alternative. Now, actually, this is my first time cycling. I'm down here on my train in my full cycling gear. <laughs> and long sleeves. Because I was going out, I have one, two long sleeves up under here. I have a uh, long sleeves undershirt and a long sleeves cycling shirt. And I would have had my jacket on if we would have gone. I may end up coming out of some of, some of this. But I will say this, it's kind of nice to have the pockets in the back. Since I'm filming it, it kind of helps. I can grab my, my controls and stuff. Hey, um, when I ride my bike, when I ride my trainer, I have a uh, playlist. You, you can't hear it now because I have it off. Because I'm going to post this. <laughs> And I can't post copyrighted songs, well I could, but I don't. But anyway, I have a playlist that I usually um, ride to, and that playlist is on Spotify. Um, I'm under saving my foot um, in Spotify. Anyway, I'll put a link to my Spotify. You can you know, follow me on Spotify too. I'll put a link to my Spotify playlist. So you can exercise along with my playlist, you know, let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, <laughs> let me know that too. Yeah, so I usually put one out every month um, in Spotify, and I usually publish it around about the same time I publish my news my newsletter. Yeah, about speaking of the newsletter. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, go to savingmyfoot.com and subscribe to my newsletter. I put a newsletter out every month. Uh, hey, like I said, I have a lot of things going. So you definitely want to subscribe to that. And like I say, every month you get the pop workout playlist and you can ride along. The only thing about riding a trainer, it can be a little bit not just, but I try to do, I try to mix it up a little bit, similar to a spin class. See, I'm standing up. That's a little slow mo me of standing up. But for some reason or other, I don't know whether because it's the type of trainer I have or what have you, I don't feel as secure standing up and um, pedaling on my um, trainer. Maybe I should get a Peloton, right? Not. Hey, I, I, I want to spend that money for a bike. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my stretching. Actually, at first, what I do, I warm up my legs and I do some stretching. These things I took over from a spin class. 
normally during this time of year I would go to a spin class but because of COVID yeah, I'm not going to anyone's class like that in the gym <laughs> but I'm not the best stretcher person <laughs> as you can see I do one or two things and I get right back at it yeah, it started getting kind of hot down there in the basement but hey, that's a good thing I'm working up a sweat Yep, like I said, it was getting hot down there in the basement. <laughs> had to zip it up. Not zip it up, I had to unzip it. It got me a little fan action going. <laughs> Riding a trainer is better than not doing anything, particularly if you like cycling. I would definitely rather ride outside, but hey, if this, if this is all I can do, I'll take it and I like doing it. Okay, I finished it up. Did about an hour or so. I did two of my playlists. Uh, actually, the playlists that I have out there on Spotify, uh, they're about 30 minutes each. Uh, basically, I made them. Some people work out for 30 minutes or so, do a aerobic exercise for 30 minutes or so. Some people go an hour. Anyway, if you go an hour, you need two of my playlists. And I did my January and February pre playlist. So I got a good workout in. Hey. Kind of, I'm kind of beat. I'm kind of beat now. It's, and it's hot in here. I wanted to take my jersey off, but like I said, I like the back pockets, and it had my controls in the back pockets, so I really couldn't take it off. All right, I'm looking out the window here, and um, it's still snowing. <laughs> well, it's not a lot of snow. Um, it's snow flurries, um, but anyway, it, it's snowing nonetheless. All right, on to the next stop. Okay. I'm getting ready to fix something to drink. I guess with my last vlog, whereas I talked with alcohol and I'm diabetes, actually what I'm gonna start doing is maybe um, call out the alcohol content and the carb content in the drinks. Again, like I said, um, if you're a diabetic, uh, basically it's um, two ounces a day of alcohol, which is that's much more than um, I would consume. Uh, and that's if you're a male, if you're a female, one ounce, or either one beer or one glass of wine and with meals it's just double two ounces two beers two glass of wine all right today's drink is um blood orange bourbon sour cocktail saw me looking down so obviously i have a recipe uh, blood orange oranges are in season now which that's something i didn't know to just recently so a blood orange drink sounds appropriate for now all right, here I go. Okay, I'm finished. Well, let's see how it turned out. Um, here's the drink there, it looks good. Actually, I've been making this, um, I guess I've been making this drink for several days now. Um, 
like I said, blood oranges, they are in season now. So, hey, like I said, I didn't realize it. I just saw blood oranges in the grocery store and hey, we can't ever see these. Let's, let's get, let me get a couple. Anyway, let me give it a try. Very good, very good. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.